In the top block, Network 26 shows a pulse timer in ladder logic. Network 27 shows the equivalent pulse timer coil. In the bottom block is the equivalent statement list code. Each of the somatic timers, pulse, extended pulse, on delay, stored on delay, and off delay can be represented in a similar fashion. The stored on delay timer also requires a reset command. The load timer 12 command is shown here only for monitoring purposes. You can examine the timer bit to see if a timer's coil is true with a Boolean logic command followed by T and the timer number. Monitoring is on. When I13.1 is true, the SP or pulse timer number 12 will time according to the value in accumulator 1. The value that has been loaded into accumulator 1 is S5T pound 5 seconds. The SP timer's input must remain true for the timer to time out. The coil is true while the timer is timing. Let's start the timer. The timer is now complete. In the top block, Network 28 shows an on-delay timer in ladder logic. Network 29 shows the equivalent on-delay timer coil. In the bottom block is the equivalent statement list code. The load timer 21 command is shown here only for monitoring purposes. The examination of the timer bit is shown to demonstrate the instruction. When input 15.2 goes true, the SD or on delay timer will begin timing according to the time value in accumulator 1, which is 5 seconds. The input must remain true for the timer to time out. The coil is false while timing and goes true after the delay. The on-delay timer is complete and the timer's coil is true. This concludes the video for Somatic S7 Timers in STL.